Welcome back to The Dictators. Yeah. With your host, Joe, the unfortunate, and Ryan, the magnificent. Skip is here. Skip 16. So what are you going to do today? I'm going to do a lot of things today. Uh, well, I'm glad for you. One of them includes jerking off. Don't want to know anything about it. You were asking me about it earlier. Well, you, you want need, tips. You know what you need to do? You need to call. You want tips for your you, tip. You need to call those people, the Millenniums, yeah. the, the GZs. The Millennium Falcons. The GXs. Whatever, what other what 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 letter do they call younger people nowadays? I don't know what the newest generation is, but you have Gen Z, uh-huh. Millennials, yeah. Generation X. Wait, wait. Baby boomers. Was it, wasn't Generation X the mutant people? No, that's X-Men. Same thing. No, it's not the same thing at all. Right. All right, let me ask you a question. So you got yeah. GZs. You don't have GZs. Generation Z. Generation Z, yes. <laughs> I just said it and you didn't know. You said GZ. It. It's not GZ. No, it's like, uh, all right. And you got GXs. Fuck. Mic issues. So you got There's G- no GXs either. Oh. Gen- there's a Generation X. It's not GX. All right, so you got Generation Z. Yes. Generation X. Yes. What about yeah? What about Generation V for fucking vagina? There, that's every generation ever since the beginning of humanity. No, they don't sell it like they used to. Sell what? What are they, what are they pitching? What's the sales pitch? What are they pitching? Yeah. <laughs> Get between their legs, you'll find out what they're pitching. What are you catching? I don't know. Oh, you probably catch STD. I ain't catching shit. Probably herpes. You know about all these things, right? I put my hand over my ass when I bend down around you. Wait a minute. You put your hand over. What about the dog stuck his nose up your ass? <laughs> I thought it was the third girl that got involved in the threesome we were having. I knew it was. A, I knew what it was, but it kind of oh, it no. startled me. He's like, it startled me. like, damn, her tongue I wasn't is, expecting that at all. Her tongue is wet, and it's like, no, it's the dog's fucking nose. I knew it wasn't her because she was in the other direction from me. She was on the other side of me. What about the other girl? She was in front of me. Uh, my ass is good. There was no other girl there. Not that I would complain, but I'm just saying the fact well, well, that there wait, was wait, no wait. other girl there. Uh, what species was this dog? A dog. Uh, it was, a, what, f- breed? was it was a female or what brand? Yeah, breed. It, was, it was fucking. I said breed. <laughs> it was fucking. Brand. It was Kellogg's. It was Kellogg's. <laughs> it was fucking Nabisco dog. <laughs> Kellogg's the canine. It was a fucking frosted flake, fucking flying patriot. Goddamn. Oh, that's Tony the Tiger. Him too. So back to the question: Was it yeah. a female dog? Yes. Do you know what they used to call women in the day? Bitch. No, they call them female dogs. Yeah, bitch. Yeah, that too. I understand that. All you know right. what technical definition of a bitch is. So I guess you didn't feel no different when this female bitch put her nose up your I did feel different. <laughs> I, I felt extremely different. Yeah, he's like, who the hell is goosing me? Exactly. I thought there was a day all of a sudden shooting from the bottom of her bed. And next thing you know, the tongue was out. The tongue was out. That's freaking was wet. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck to say on this conversation at all. We already went over this whole story of the dog. I know, but this is even better. Face this up my is, ass. Yeah. I mean, hey, I, I've never had that shit. I've never even been hit on by a fucking person that's gay like you. I'm not gay. Uh, well, you know what? Maybe you should say something, come out of the closet, and get lucky. What are you talking about? I have no idea. That's why, the problem. Here. Why should I be talking about something I know about? You do know about gay stuff in closets and whatnot. No, I don't. There was no Where gay you... people in the closets in the 70s. Where do you keep your clothes? I, I keep them on a rack. Where is the rack? Oh, it's just a rack. I hung a rod across my bed that I hang clothes on. Across your bed? Yeah, because, yeah, of course, you're trying to get me into the closet here. Yes. <laughs> you see what angle I'm working? Oh yeah, I see the angle you working. It's like, yeah, he's a closet You come out queen. of the closet every day. Yeah, yeah. You know a lot about closets. Hey, you used to be a carpenter and work for a closet company, California Closets. No, I didn't. That was you were the there lead was? foreman. No, you were the lead foreman uh, at California I, Closets. I, I, I did put an application uh, uh, in there. Uh, 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 I did put an application see? in, and they turned me down. You know why? Because you were too gay. I was too much closet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> they you could, were too gay. They, they couldn't, couldn't handle, handle it. It's like that. That is one of the stupidest. Mm. Co- and all the rich people go with it. It's, it's just like what happened the other day. Go with the, what? Finished closets? Yeah, stupid shit. What's wrong with having a finished closet? Why is that stupid? 
Well, you ever date a girl that has 400 pairs of clothes? I mean, 400 shoes? I don't know if that, about that many. That's excessive. So you've never been in a mansion in your life? Yes, I have been in a mansion. I just didn't date her. What mansion you been in? I've been in plenty of mansions in construction. I've been in a lot of people's mansions working. Where? All over New Jersey. There ain't a fucking mansion in New Jersey. We're talking, Are you high? We're talking Bel Air, California, dude. Are you high? I've been to Bel Air, actually. I haven't been inside the house. I've been there. Oh, yeah. He drove down the street that goes through Bel Air. I saw Dave Chappelle there. Actually, that was Beverly Hills. Oh, oh, so what was Dave Chappelle doing? Hitchhiking? No, I saw him outside of a hotel, like waiting for his car or whatever. Seriously. <laughs> and you also saw your gay buddy from Two and a Half Men. I did. I did. And Alan you, Harper. I, and you hit on him, right? I did not hit on him. I ain't give him the satisfaction. That he's gay? No, of letting him know that, oh, he's popular and he's a celebrity. Fuck him. He can go fuck himself, along with the rest of them. You're going to have to move the switches closer to me. You don't what show switches? No. Switch off your fucking mind. Oh, my God. Who the hell are you? You said that you don't even know what it is. Well, that's because you never fucking play it. You want me to sit there and just play these all day? Well, what the hell? That saves me time from talking to you. Oh, you oh dumbass. that's how it is. Next no thing, love. Next no thing, love. Next thing you'd be doing is like telling me to go assassinate people. No, we're not committing crimes here. Well, that, Since we're on the gay topic, I got a question for how you. How the hell we get on the gay topic? You fucking went down this road. Are you gay? You turned us down this road. Are you gay? You were in charge of GPS here. He's gay. I'm gay. <laughs> there it is. He's got a man thing. Why are you gay? Why are you gay? I never started before until my lifetime come to you. So. Then all of a sudden it all happened. It came to me. It's like a penis in the ass is a good thing. So you are gay. No, I was talking for you. So, since we're on this topic, this which is related. Because you're gay. First, let me ask you to see if you agree with Did me. Did you hear what he said? Let me ask you. He didn't say ask. He said ask you. No, you're not asking me. Since we're on this topic. And that's the topic we're on. All right. I have to ask a preliminary question. Uh, oh, so now I feel like I'm where in, you're at. So let me tell you this. I can't spell. I can't read. And you're going to ask me a serious Shut question up. with the words I don't understand. Go ahead. Listen. Go ahead. Go ahead. Start. I'm waiting right here. What is wrong with you? Well, it all started when I was a little kid. Shut up, bitch. Nobody ah. cares. Why are you asking? I'll be honest with you. You hurt my feelings. I'm kind of retarded. You're kind of retarded. You really hurt my feelings. I don't give a fuck about your feelings. Next thing fuck I'm your feelings. I wish I had a fuck your feelings button. You know what? The next thing you're going to see me start crying, what are you going to do? Stop it. Get some help. What are you going to do? Come over and hug me like a man? I'm not giving you a hug. Fuck you. Or are you going to so, hug me like a girl and I may like it? So. <laughs> yes, you are gay. Talk to me. <laughs> I don't need a button. Can, you are gay. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the hairdo. Why that is gay? a gay hairdo. Come on. Tell the truth, Why man. You All gay? you gay guys out there, look at this hairdo. Is that gay or not? I mean, call him. 1-800-SNOWFLAKE. Count off the 800. Just do one snowflake. All right. All right. We're, All right. we're freaking locked and loaded. We're, we're going now. So, so he's, All right. All he's right. gay. <laughs> the path. All right. I am gay. Since you're gay. I love being gay. There's nothing wrong with being gay. My I love the way my I love the way my titties are growing. My preliminary gay. question is. I'm gay. Do you think guys and girls could be platonic friends? Best friends. Like good friends. <sighs> Are we talking two gay guys being platonic I friends? I said a guy and a girl. Oh, guy and a girl being, being Pl what? Platonic friends. Okay. Good I friends. So if I say platonic, it's okay with you. Can you answer the fucking question? So if I'm a friend with a girl. Yes. And all we do is talk, like on a cell phone or it's There's in text There's no message. sexual thing involved whatsoever. Do I ever see her? No, you go out to dinner with you, hang out, you get lunch, you do like friend shit. You do like shit friends would do together. Does she send me naked pics? No. Does she send me naked videos? No. Of her? No. Does she, she doesn't even hook you up with her friends either. Does she send me naked videos of her masturbating? No. None of that is in involved. Wow. So what the fuck do I want to be a fucking friend for? All right, all right. We're on, we're on to a fucking good path here. Wait, wait. We agree. I don't think I covered everything. So you're telling me a dude. Yes. 
has a girl, mm-hmm. and the girl's hot. Yes, it's a, a, at least oh, wait, a relatively oh, wait, wait, attractive are, are, girl. Are we going to say she's hot, or are we going to say she's, she's uh, attractive? Voluptuous. She's not a fat bitch. She's uh, rel- at least relatively. She's bangable. We'll leave it. We'll put it at that. She's at least bangable. Does she have a job? Sure. Oh, geez, that's fucking high quality shit there. She's a bangable broad. Oh yeah, all the way. Well, can you be just friends with her without like any kind of sexual access at all? <laughs> sexual access is that access i knew you would pick that, up on that wait wait is that access to the ears the nose the mouth the fucking two bottom holes or Men, feet one whatever hole, one hole minimum she only has one hole no you have access to at least one hole that's fucking rough for me so so i gotta have at least three i need at least one which one would you pick if you could only have one We're going on a little side divergent topic here but are we talking like we're in the car or we're home it doesn't matter where you are if we're driving there ain't, no, no, there ain't if, nothing we're getting no, you, if I don't hit whatever you do whatever you do don't hit the fucking brakes I, <laughs> <laughs> and then you wave to all the truck drivers going by and you're like and there she is it's like stop biting me so all right what do you want to know all right i got so, off the so, subject i yeah. guess a little bit so, so, so all right so the prep so guys and girls can't be just friends. Fucking ask your audience. Want- all the girls will say, yes, I can. I don't want to have sex with him. He wants to have sex yeah, with me. because they want the attention. All right, so we're on the same page pretty much. Yeah, I hope so. I don't know what page you're on, but hey, page I'm one. I'm kind of wondering, can gay guys be best friends with each other without mm. it being sexual at all? All right, let me ask you that question. Yeah. So can you be friends with a gay guy without being sexual? Why are you gay? You didn't answer my question. You didn't answer. You don't answer a question with a question. I was just trying to squeeze some information from you. Know how you closet queens are. You know the terminology. Closet queen. That yeah. was in the seventies. It's still current. You probably go home and listen to the Bee Gees. Why are you gay? Staying alive. You, you Staying only, alive. The only, only reason. Ah, oh, 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 oh. Is that what you sound like with your man? Bee Gees. No, no, that's what you sound like with your boys. You're probably on the down low. Got fucking shirt issues going on here. Got more than shirt issues. You got asshole issues. <laughs> I'm gay. There you go. <laughs> I'm gay. Look at that hairdo you got. You got to be gay to have a hairdo like that. That's unbelievable. <laughs> Fuck you, goddamn beautician can't even fix that. What are you talking about? What's wrong with my haircut? Well, I don't know if it's my glasses or just the way it looks. It looks fucked up today. It looks just how it always looks. The same thing. Eh, it's not as pointy. You so, must. So you it's must not the cut. It's it's how it's styled is you, your issue. You, you must have laid on it while you were driving here. Who's gay here? And you're worried about another guy's haircut? I, I'm not gay. You yeah, what, you are. You know what the best thing about being gay is? You would know. They both work. So, back to the question. So, back. To- Don't forget to buy this good ingredient when you're having sex called Slap Your Mama. Shut up, bitch. <laughs> Shut up, bitch. <laughs> Are you going to answer the fucking question? I didn't have an answer yet. What's the question? <laughs> Are you going to be able to speak to the microphone or you want to speak to a real microphone? <laughs> <laughs> I'm the gay one. Not me. <laughs> yeah, right. You're, you know what you are? Liar! <laughs> of course. I hate you, bitch. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So. I fucking hate you. Listen. That's a, I mean, that's a gold song. It's by, uh, five, not Five Finger, but it's by. Uh, Godsmack? Godsmack, yeah. Isn't that your favorite band? Yeah, that's one of them. Okay. You should like that song. It's got some good intros like, I fucking hate you. There was a, you, the uh, couple of Godsmack albums you uh, let me borrow for a little bit. There's a, there, I'll admit, there were a few good songs I, that were like pretty catchy I liked. I know. It's like, I fucking hate you, there were you fucking bitch. I'll admit, there were some songs that were pretty good. Well, you know what happens? That song there is a really good song. It's like when the chick screws you over All right. and you break up. All right. Well, are you going gay again? No, you oh. are. Oh, jeez. All right, see, I didn't know I was going gay, so here it goes. You are. I'm gay. You are gay. I'm only gay on weekends. Why are you gay? Only on weekends. All right. Listen. I'm going to be honest with you. 
pot. I'm kind of retarded. There's no lie there. So, I better get back to the question. Why am I back to the question? No. Oh. (laughs) <laughs> this is the biggest circle jerk conversation I've ever had in my life. How the hell can I? I, I feel it's like it's taking us ten minutes to fucking try to get to one question. Ask me a female chick. I can give you a female question. I can give you all the answers. What they had? Can gay guys be best friends with each other, platonically, and not want anything else? <sighs> want anything else in sex or booze? Sexually. You, you know what. You'd have to really be there to understand the answer. Since I've never been there, what I really... What the fuck does that even mean? Being a politician. I don't know the answer because I've never been gay, so I can't tell you whether they have sexual feelings for each other just hanging out with each other. All right. So let me break this down a little bit for you. All right. Here of... we go. Break it down! Let me break it down for you because you're a little simple-minded. Oh, jeez. A.K.A. I'm going to be honest with you. There goes that stick. I'm kind of retarded. You are retarded. Let me break it down for the simpletons like yourself, Joe. He's breaking it down. Can you get my stick? Fuck your stick. That's what she said. (laughs) We almost lost that one. It's my bad hand. I thought you were a lefty. I am, but I'm lefty. Never mind. Just answer your own question. What the hell you want to know from me? So... So if a guy is good friends with a, with a at least a bangable girl, at least a relatively attractive girl, you're gonna he bang wants, her the first night. He wants to bang her, of course. What the hell do you think he's doing there? He, yeah, so he might not have the balls to come out right and say it outright and say, "Hey, baby, I want to fuck. Let's fuck tonight." No, he's waiting for her to say, "I'll take you home." Yeah, hey, are, are you gonna invite yes. me in for a cup of coffee? Yeah. So, bunch of scared sons of bitches. Yeah, but anyway. If a guy is there, he wants to have sex with her. He's not there just to be just friends with her. He wants, he's hoping for sex. So, now. If, all she has to do is put her, her hand on his gay, crotch. If the guy is gay. Well, he's limp. He likes other dude's cock. So I, I have no <laughs> fucking idea what you're talking about now. I imagine so, because I have neighbors like that. So. He is attracted to cock. In fact, what they do is they call each other. That's, why that's why my, are you attracted to cock? That's my wife over there. That's what they say. You're, let me let me go talk to my wife and see how. Why are you gay? Because it's all started a long time ago. Penis was an interesting thing in my life. So. <laughs> that's a sound clip right there. <laughs> Penis was interesting. Only problem I had, mine was bigger than everybody else's. What you gonna do? You know why are you sound like fucking Mario now? A long time ago, let me tell you a story from the uh, Italy. Shut the fuck up! I'm trying to break shit down here for you. You know, I'm not breaking down. I'm not getting anywhere. (laughs) You're like extra fucking ADD today. (laughs) Did you forget to take your meds? Why? 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 Why you gotta bring the Biden policy? They brought meds down for us now. Now everybody can get high on prescriptions. What was the question? I fucking forgot. <laughs> exactly. I didn't even ask a question. I was trying to explain shit. You keep fucking sidetracking me left and right. All right, go ahead. I'm not going to say anything. Go ahead, ask me a question. I'm not going to say anything. I'm not asking. I'm trying to explain shit. Wow, I feel like I'm Jesus talking to my Christ. psychologist. Jesus. What are, you, what are you, a psychologist? No, I'm the fucking man. He's the man. Listen, this he's is, the man from the Gay County can. This is what I want you to do. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up, bitch. I'm gay. Shut up, bitch. Yo, gay. Shut up, bitch. So what's your problem? So So you haven't had enough pussy in your lifetime? What's wrong with your forehead? You got a headache? I'm getting one. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get you some fucking Advil. <laughs> Please. So if a guy this is gay and likes cock. Can he be best friends with another guy who has a cock? Oh, my God. How the f- Without wanting to fuck each other. How the fuck do I know what gay guys want? <laughs> you don't think about this shit? No, I never <laughs> thought about this in my life. But I think I make a fair point that I don't think gay guys can be best friends either. No, you know what? If, if we're looking at it that way as a primal man and a primal woman, you're right. Because the first thing they have in their minds, so when they start bleeding, 
when the boys start growing hair on their assholes, first thing they want to do is everybody wants to fuck for the next 20 years straight. Then what they do is because they're either gay, heterosexual, bisexual, or lesbian. So you well, do know all the terms. Well, the lesbian go to, the, well, the first thing they go to, they go to toys. It's like, oh, I don't need a man. I got a strap on. It's like. You, you, and you have your pocket you, pussy. You, you're using a man's pussy, so I mean a man's, man's penis. Dick. So what the hell is your problem? Well, I don't like dealing with him. What you don't like a smell his nuts? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? I have no idea. I lost my train of thought. You know how it is when I'm fucking. I don't think you got into one train of thought so far this episode. You know what? This all started when I was on a train to fucking New York City one time. Nobody gives a fuck. So that was just trying to make the point. I. Which, My statement I, is, I, I don't think gay guys can be best friends either. Just like, no. guys can't be best friends with girls because the guy is always going to want to fuck the girl. So, so it can't be purely platonic. There's always that sexual tension. It's not a real friendship. So, and so with that being said, you're with bre- that as a baseline. You're breaking up with all your best friends. You're telling gay me. guys can't be best friends with other gay guys because on some level they want to fuck. So you're telling me you're going to break up with all your exes. That's a shame. What you How do you break up with an ex? We're going to leave it there. <laughs> we are going to move on. I don't, I don't want to embarrass him. <laughs> and I don't want a phone call coming through that I'll be threatening that I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> so. You weren't supposed to be on here saying that shit. So. So. What we're going to do here. How many. We're, we're, gonna, we're done with that because we didn't get anywhere. I have a feeling we're not getting anywhere with anything. But I'm going to keep fucking trying. I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up on you, Joey. I hope we get two people watching this. I'm not giving. I'm not giving up on you, Joey. Me neither. So, how many? How many what? Flat-chested strippers have you fucked? I think two, but the second one wasn't flat. The second one was probably bees. Well, that's close enough to flat too, though. Relatively flat. At least it's something. Well, but. you know, if you stood up straight up on a, a 180 vertical, you know, there would be a little titty hanging out. All right, l- let's make the the, the line is. Unless they were she, the line is, does Unless she actually need a bra or not? That's where the line is. Well, in my line, no chick needs a bra. It's oh, that's another question. Let's get into that one. Why the fuck do flat girls wear bras? Why? Well, why? The, well, they say why because they're trying to train their chest. That there's nothing there to fucking train. Well, you know what? You got a good point. Now that's a very good point. So let me ask you a question. Yeah. How the hell do you train your tit to stand up? <laughs> you fucking feed wait, a wait, treat. Wait, wait, wait. You feed a treat to tell a good train, boy. He's like, this is like you're out in front of him. He's like, here, here, follow the nipple. Follow. The, get the nipple hard. Get the nipple hard. It's like, are you out of your fucking mind? What the fuck are you talking about? How do you train tits? You don't train them. So, what do you mean train them? So why do you need bras? That's, you need them to lift and separate and support. If you're if you're flat as a doornail. No, the flat girls don't need them. But why the fuck do they wear them? Why? I was going to ask you to A, B's, A and B's don't need them either. A and B bra size shouldn't even exist. I mean, it's tiny. It's not even a fucking cup size in your hand. A, there's absolutely fucking nothing there. If that's what it's called. It should be a negative A. For B's, that, that's not... Bees still aren't big enough to need a bra. They're well, still small I, enough I, that they're just fucking there. I do have to admit, I've met a lot of A's and B's in my life. C's are starting to get fucking into the fun. Oh, C's? Into the fun territory. That's, they're, they're getting into playground yeah, territory. Yeah, C pluses are nice. Anyway, because there's- C's are decent. There's plenty. There's C's plenty to decent. play. There's plenty to fight. You can have some fun with C's. There's plenty slapping them around. You can have some fun with some C's. Some motorboat action yeah. going on. Start oh, that you, bitch you, up. Ring, yeah, ring, yeah, ring, yeah. ring, 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 Now you lost the train of thought. Jesus Christ. Fuck, I was trying to go. Why through. the fuck? Oh, the, the, there is a speciality or a specialty that flat chest women do. What's that? They give good head. Well, it's most of them now. I have a controversial wait, wait, opinion, wait, wait. opinion, by the Let way. Me, most of them have, have the skills to deep throat. I have a controversial you opinion. You know why? Because they're trying to compensate to make up for their lack of fucking chesticles. Have you had a, a girl ever swallow the whole thing for you and not gag? I'm, I'm no, sure they, you they did. they always gag. Well, that's not a specialist. How about when your transmission blows up? Listen. Do you take when it when you're packed? Wait, 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 wait. Listen. Do, wait. When you 
When listen, you, when you listen, have a special listen, when you're packed like a rhino, there is no non gag option. Who's packed like a rhino? Your boy. Uh, you know my boy. So let me get back to the question. So yeah. when you need a specialist, say your transmission blew up, do you go to the fucking diner to get it fixed? Yes. There might be a good mechanic next to the diner. Or do you go to the girl that gives can fucking swallow your balls at the same time? You never heard How that? How small Wait, are you? You ever heard? <laughs> <laughs> so what it is, it's like you never heard that joke, put the balls in on the, se- on the sexual things? You know what that means? Once the dick goes in, you put the balls in. So I have a controversial opinion. Well, I bet you do because you're gay. And I guess you've heard that before. Why are you gay? Why are you gay? Put the balls in. So I have a controversial opinion. Let that ball slap your ass. You'll feel better in the morning. I have a controversial opinion. I bet you have controversial shit. Do you ever shut the mother effing hell up? Well, let's hear what you got to say because it it probably isn't anything intelligent. Girls cannot... Give good head. Good head doesn't exist. Why? Because they have teeth? No. That's nothing to do with teeth. <laughs> what has it got to do with? They just don't do a good job. Really? And how many girls have, I don't, how many girls have given you head in your listen, lifetime? A lot. I don't thoroughly is enjoy that, head. Is that one or two? I don't thoroughly enjoy head. So obviously you didn't have it many times in your lifetime. I've had it plenty. Fucking plenty. What's plenty? A lot. Three? Millions. Four millions of times. All right, so this is how this is how guys try to, you know, prop themselves up. Like, yeah, I've had fucking, I, I got in the head fifty thousand times. You ever been bit? He's gonna say no. You gotta tell the truth. Why are no. you like this? Tell me the truth. You ever been bit? Why are you like this? You ever been bit on your penis? Then you haven't had a lot of head in your life. Because if you had a lot of head. You always run into a girl with a sharp tooth <laughs> or is trying to please you and doesn't know how to do it yet. What do you mean by that? I just told you. You end up with a cut on your penis and that's not fucking happy. Stop it. Get some help. That's it. Next thing you know, you got to put a Band-Aid on it. <laughs> I haven't met another guy. Or I, I think my controversial opinion isn't necessarily controversial. Well, I I'm think sure that other guys just don't want to admit it because they, everybody wants to be macho and shit. Macho about what? Freaking saying how great head is. I don't think I fucking these girls suck at it. Well, you know that's you didn't even catch I, the pun there. Yeah, I did because you're a linoleum. You're from GZ. G, you didn't even catch the pun G, there. You're kind of catch a pun as soon as I boot you in the ass. You're probably gonna boot nobody problem, in the ass. Your problem is all these girls think they're all special He's now. Stupid. And they don't want to do what it takes to get a man. Most girls that do these things, they get the man, and then they never give head again. They're like, that's disgusting. No, I'm just saying that freaking head, for the most part, doesn't really get me off. Well, fine. That's you. You're one in how many millions? How many Democrats are like you? I think I'm not one in the million. I think I'm the norm. But I think guys just don't want to admit it. He's a, he's a normal liberal. Yes, he is. What the fuck does that mean? Why like, are you like this? I need a button. Why are you like this? Because you don't like having sex with women. I don't. I can't help you. No, sex is different. <laughs> so I so, thoroughly so enjoy we got, sex. We gave from oral sex to sex. I thoroughly, but that's different. I thoroughly enjoy sex. So what you're trying to say is you like getting? Uh... I lost my thought. You haven't had a thought to begin with this whole time. Oh, you like getting pegged. Right? Did you you're saying you don't like Who's it? the one holding a peg in their hand and playing with it? Wait, so you don't like Is that let me ask you a question. It's a drumstick has that been, jackass. Has that been up your ass? It's gonna be up in yours in a minute when I let it go. Look at you, you're playing with that thing like it's fucking a it keeps my hands busy instead of beating you up. First of all, that can't happen. He is gay. First of all. He's real gay. <laughs> First of all. He likes penis. <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> what, what kind of, do you like the penis with the shell on it or the penis that you can see? What is wrong with you? Can what, we get a conversation going here? What kind of penis is that called? Can we get a conversation going here? What, what's that kind of penis called that's got a cover on it? This is a, what's we that? have not gotten one real good conversation going at all. What is like, that? You, you are mentally <laughs> incapable of conversation right now. What is that penis called? What the fuck is wrong with you? 
What's the man? What is wrong with you? What does what that happen when you get your penis cut open and when you're a little baby? What's that called? Are you delusional? Do, are, do you suffer from a mental what is, illness? What is that called? It's called. Stop it. Get some help. It's called when they cut your head so there's no hood scoop anymore. So let me ask you a question. <clears throat> you like men with hood scoops or no hoods? So he's gay. And he doesn't want to talk no more. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask. Well, he wants to ask me a question. All right. Is Let's... it fucking possible for us to get a conversation going? Who do you want to talk about? Your wife? I don't have a wife. Every time I'm there trying to is. get conversations going, you just like go into like some side track bullshit, playing with your fucking skinny dick over there. You know, I should let these fly off my hands and hit you. You in already head. did let one fly off and you fucking lost it. Yeah, I, I lose a lot of things in life. Like your brain today. Well, you know, you got to right. remember, at my age, a lot of drugs that they did in the 70s were all cool, 60s too. What does that mean? That you have brain damage from drugs? Uh, what did you ask me again? <laughs> I can't remember what you just said. What did you say? Where is your head today? Well, I it's mean, between my days, shoulders. <laughs> most days you don't have your head, but you really don't have it today. So what is the problem you're having with me today? That we can't even have a conversation. Every question I ask is fucking some bullshit you come out with. You sound like my fucking psychologist. What did the psychologist tell you? Well, usually when I go to see them, they fucking, she talks all fucking down. I mean, it's like, who's paying for the hour here? So you, you pay her to be her therapist. Yeah, she tells me all her problems. It's like all the, she tells me the problems I have. And I'm like, I thought I was supposed to talk to you. He's gay. What? <laughs> I forgot what I thought about. What's wrong with you? It all started when I was a little kid. Okay, what happened? Following mosquito trucks. You already heard that yeah, story. Right. I thought we were going to have to break out a tissue box here for you. Uh, probably getting beat up all the time, too. You know. Who'd you well, get beat up by? People like your size. Who'd you get beat up by? People are your b- big as you. Who, like other kids? Other school kids? Yeah, big as you. There was no kid, a freaking little kid my size. You'd be surprised. I would be fucking surprised. You're right. What I understood, you were in uh, what? Why did they beat you up? Because of a mouth like yours. Because I told him to kiss my ass all the time. Why? So you, did you enjoy getting beat up? Or like, why, would you, why wouldn't you stop with the mouth? Why'd you keep going? Because they're assholes like you. <laughs> so, why wouldn't you just shut your mouth and not get your ass kicked? Why get picked on by a bully? I am willing to bet that there was plenty of times they were just uh, minding their own fucking business. You start running your mouth to them, and then they kick your ass. What? And if you do, would just like mind your own business. You wouldn't have got your ass kicked. What? Who said I got my ass kicked? You just said you got your ass kicked when you were a kid. I said I I might have been beat up. I said I never. That's got... the same thing. I didn't know he's losing. Beat up, ass kicked, same fucking thing. You know what? What? One out of three, someone your size, I kicked their ass, and that felt just as good as getting beat up the other two times. So it was worth fucking the roll, the roll the dice. Goddamn right. Because you know one, one out of three, you won't get your ass kicked. One out of three is always a pussy. <laughs> How many fights were you getting into? Where'd you grow up? In freaking West Side Story or some shit? Woodbridge. Guy who grew up in fucking the Warriors movie. Warriors, Warriors come out to play. play. Well, he's got a bad voice, doesn't he? He could never be a singer like me. They weren't even singing. They were just talking uh, shit to uh, each no, other. No, I'm talking to you right now the way you say things. you got to have a deeper voice. you know? you got to have a man's voice to talk on the radio. You can't have a voice like yours. It's like, hi, how you doing? This is Ryan. Okay. Right. That's a little better, but the problem I'll, you problem talk like this all the time now. The problem you have is like you. What's always, my problem, Joe? You, you always got to pretend you got a good voice. I have to pretend. What am I pretending? <laughs> when you go home by yourself tonight, you're gonna pretend you have a fucking plastic doll. <laughs> no, I do have a plastic doll. Yeah, what the hell's her name? Renee, <laughs> Lucy, Wilhelmina, Helmina, Wilhelmina. Yeah, whatever that is. What's your girl's name? Vanilla. That's that's the kind of sex you have. <laughs> good comeback, Touche. You set me up on that one there, Joey. Touche on that one. Got me good on that. 
vanilla sex. So how many times have you gotten your ass kicked? It's like your girlfriend's name is Cucumber, and I wonder why she's named Cucumber. No, my name, my girlfriend's name is Chiquita Banana. And I wonder why they call him Chiquita Banana. It's not a him. Why, why has she got a Chiquita? It's a girl with a pegging sword. Yeah, with a banana. Yeah, pegging banana. All right, what, move on. How many times did you get your ass kicked, Joe? Yeah, there you go. Know, quite a few. There's no doubt about it. There's no doubt I lost fights. But when I lost the fights, I still got the best of those pre- people. That's not how it works. Yeah, it is. It's like I walk away, no scars. I got black eyes. You can't lose a fight and get the best of the situation. Well, you got the worst of the situation because you lost. The only time I got the worst of a situation when it was like 50 to 3 of us. No. Yes. You were never in a 50 to 3 fight. Yeah, I was. No bullshit. Twice. Bullshit. Have you ever been carried out of the bar with your hands and your feet by six guys? No. People don't fuck with me. And I've, I've been wait, on the other end of that. And you don't like. I have carried people out. And you don't like the guys that are carrying you to begin with. No shit. Who has ever been carried out of bar and says, I like this guy? So it's like, you heard him. He's done this before. He's yeah, he's carrying the guy out. He yeah, used to be a bouncer. Yeah, he carries him out, and then they throw him throw on the him ground. On the and then they kick him and punch him no, and beat him up. No, all six no. of them at the same time. No. Like, And then they go back and they all slap each other's hands no. like like gay guys going. It's like, man, we beat his fucking ass. You see him? I'm gay. That's not, I never. That's not how that. it works? I never did. Yeah, that's how it works. We never did that. No. We um, never did. He's the honest bouncer you ever saw no, in the world. All I want is girls' yes. phone numbers and their license numbers no. and, and where they live. No. Oh, here we go. Let's hear it. Live. One of the reasons, I mean, aside from that, it's just the right thing to do. What's that the right we, thing to do? Throw the person out and kick them, no, and punch them, yes, and beat them yes, up? No, we never. Of course we threw people out. You have to. That's just part of the gig. By their hands and feet. If they make us take it that far, then yes. If it has to go that far, then you And then you throw them out on the street, and then but you no, kick them and punch no, them and beat them no, up, and then you kick no, them, you roll them into the no, curb. You don't do that shit. That's wrong. How you do you know? We don't do that shit. Who's we? Part of the reason, that's just not the right thing to do. You're just being a fucking scumbag piece of shit if you, t- if you like, go to that point. Throwing somebody out, that's, that's one thing. Sometimes it's, it's, that's warranted. That's okay, and in some circumstances. So I want you all but to know, this is the nice bouncer we to knew run into. We knew a dude. <laughs> we knew it. We knew a dude that was a bouncer at another bar. It was like a friend of a friend type of guy. Oh, geez, he's he was a bouncer of, at another bar. He's friends with a friend. He's a bouncer at another bar, and it was also like it was like a really rowdy type of some like crowded type of bar, and there was a fight like like happened or whatever. So he ended up freaking taking the dude, grabs him like wraps around like the blow, like below his knees, like wraps his legs up. And then stands up with the dude, so he has, and they fucking like to lift his whole fucking body up. So the dude, like, you know, goes six feet in the fucking air and then just fucking slams him down the ground. Dude that, that got slammed, cracked his fucking head open. He was on like fucking life support and shit like that in the fucking hospital. This Almost your, fucking killed him. This so your the dude, buddy. Yeah, no, like a friend of a friend. A friend, uh, I like the way you say he's, he's like, he's not he, my friend, is one of the points I'm making. It's not my he, he, actual friend. He's that did a friend this. of a but friend. I knew of a the friend. dude. I knew the dude is what I'm saying. The one that got the head busted open or the one no, that slammed the, him? The one that did the slamming. Right. I knew the dude. So the point is, like, you take it that far. Like, he started catching charges. He had to get a lawyer and all sorts of shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not that, like, yeah, yeah, I mean. I mean, it's even worse when a little guy like me beats your ass. It's like, then you can't even get a job as a bouncer. You like, were missing my whole fucking point. Oh, I thought you got fired from the job. No, my whole point is that that's why you don't do that as a bouncer. Like, even though like you can get away with a few little things here and there, but if you do something like that and put somebody in the hospital, it's something situation like that, you're causing yourself fucking problems at that point. So what you're saying also is that hey, if I was bouncing, I would kick your ass. No, <laughs> if I was bouncing, not me personally, him. He, if he was right. bouncing, yeah, and a little guy like me walked in and beat his ass, nope, didn't never happen. He would get fired from his job. It never happened. And then, 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 he and would then? never be. A, he would never be a bouncer again. I'd have to come and I'd have to help him work out. I was literally the best bouncer that place ever saw. Oh yeah, taking girls' phone numbers, addresses. I only did that a few times. Oh, no, but I didn't do it in like an underhand hey, skeezy. Way. I didn't do it in an underhand skeezy way. I did it in like oh, yeah, a wait, normal way. Of, the normal way you hit a girl. I, I didn't just like look at her ID and then just like memorize her address and shit, and then go and show up at her house. I didn't do fucking dumb shit. 
He's a stalker. No. When a girl was like hot, I would flirt with her a little bit, make a few jokes here, this, that, and the other. Are you sure this is your ID? And then sometimes like I would ask, yeah, you make like little fun flirts, little joke things, little jokey jokes. I think your dress is too short to get in. Yeah, little jokey jokes like that. And and Boy, then you got, you got nice titties. And then Are you wearing a bra? Yeah. Do you have a it's just you, you, you hit pants on, on? You hit on her like you would hit on if you even if, if you weren't working, you were just a dude at a bar. You hit on basically the same way. How's that? You don't do it. I'm saying you do, you do it morally. You don't do it underhandedly. So what's your opening line? I never did underhandedly. What, what, never. What's, what's your opening line hit on a broad? It depends on the chick. Oh, wait, wait. I'm I s- usually find some way to I'm insult sorry. her in a funny when, way. When, when you hit on a young woman or an old woman, what's the best way to say something? It depends on the situation. It depends on the girl. Is she, I usually, wear, is she I, wearing depends? Then it really depends. Then it really depends. No, I usually... Pick something in this situation where right, well, I can me, make fun of her, but in a funny uh, way at the same uh, uh, time. Give me your top line. I don't have like a line. It, it's situational. Really? Yeah. It's like, say she's wearing an ugly shirt. I'll make fun of that shirt. Uh huh. Say she's doing something goofy or she's wearing some you know, goofy ass shoes. I'll make fun of them. Uh huh. Shit like that. Is I'll this, insult her, but like in a like a sarcastic, funny kind of way. Is this almost like the girl you filmed in the urinal? What's your fucking opening line? Wait, wait. I'm asking you a question. She shouldn't have been in the men's bathroom. So what was this girl doing in the bathroom? She was fucking... I walk into the men's bathroom. This is down the Jersey Shore, by the way. This is down the Jersey Shore, down what? Uh, Long Branch? Uh, I, seaside? I, I, I forgot what town we were in, to be honest with you. Come on, you were it wasn't dan- seaside. Come on, you were dancing with Jersey Shore Maybe down there. Belmar. This guy's famous. You never seen him on Jersey Shore? I am famous. This is a, it was a different. That's a different time. This is a different girl with a different vagina. Yes, she did have a nice ass because I saw it. She did have a nice ass. I should have hit and on. And the her, worst the thing about it, when she was pissing in the urinal, what? she didn't show her vagina. See, I was going to get to the point of the urinal. Well, tell part. me all about it. You already told them. No, you fucking threw the punchline out there at the beginning of the fucking story. Or tell me about the. You, tell me about her fucking peeing in the urinal now, Ryan. No, tell me about how you got a picture of her. So I walk into the men's bathroom by yourself. Yes, yeah, and there's forty other dudes in there. I mean, it's a fucking men's bathroom at a fucking club. Of course, there's other guys in there. All right. So I walk in there, go over to go to the urinals, and freaking one of the urinals, there's literally a girl pants down around her fucking knees. Bent over like her back is facing the urinal, so her face is like facing out into so the she, bathroom. She, so she'd be she's giving bent he- over. She could be giving head if you if you could have been if you lined up. She right. wasn't, but yeah, she was in the position. Possibly that could have been a uh, workable technique. And you could have banged her right back into the urinal. You didn't fuck up. So I'm you like fucked fuck this. up. So I told him like, what the fuck are you doing, bitch? Wow. She's like, oh, she's like, there's a line at the girls' bathroom. I'm like, I don't give a fuck. You shouldn't be in here. So then she she didn't fucking she kept being whatever. So I'm like fuck. It. I t- I pull my phone. Out. I'm like, this is gonna be a good thing to show my buddies. So I took my phone here, out. Here he is, a manly recording man. recording her, recording her fucking taking a piss in the men's bathroom. Upside down. She shouldn't have been there. Well, you should have got in front of her face. I did. She, she yeah, she, she got pissed at me after that, and I told her to fuck off, bitch. I think you should put... I think she wanted to fuck. I think you should send that to uh, Ridiculousness. I have to find it. I think I have my phone somewhere still. That was fucking epic. Oh, man. She did have a nice butt. She did. She, tell, was, she I, was fairly cute. Like She wasn't an ugly girl. She I tell was you, a decent looking girl. Well, you know what? I never seen her face. She wasn't hot. I never, but seen, she was, she was I, a, I never seen her tits, but I did see the crack looking. of her ass. She had a decent ass, and she was, she, she was fairly cute. Well, you got to remember, you look at a urinal in a men's room, and if her ass fits inside that urinal, that's a pretty hot girl. Yeah. That, that should be a new test. <laughs> so what I want test. all you guys to do Take your girlfriend before into a you men's take a girl home, Before her, you take a girl home Take her into the men, men's bathroom And I, fucking make sure it physically fits and I'm telling you because if she competing into a urinal She's got talent She's got some other hidden talents Oh yeah I'm skills. sure she does She can bend over like that and pee into a urinal Fuck half the guys that go in there miss That, that is true you know, I'm, There's more pee on the floor than there is in the urinal Yeah well half of them turn to you to talk to you hey, So how you doing it's like the fuck I'm talking? I'm trying to get laid. What the hell you want to talk to me? You're trying to get laid in the men's bathroom. You are, so, why are you gay? <laughs> it all started when I was a little boy. I'm gay. They this talk- guy goes. He goes to the bar in the club, and then he goes to the men's bathroom to pick up fucking uh, uh, one night stands <laughs> for a good time. Call Joe at two one two five five five. He'll suck your dick. This guy is sick. <laughs>
<laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> It's a good thing I take out my tension on spinning sticks. <laughs> you do like sticks, don't you? <laughs> you do like long, skinny things. You long, know, skinny wood. <laughs> Joe loves long, skinny wood. <laughs> yeah, this guy's going to have to go. <laughs> so let me ask you a question. Stop. Stop doing that. What's that? I'm going to beat you up. I'm going to beat you up. What a gay guy. I'm going to beat you up. I want your ass. Have you ever shoved a gerbil up your ass? Are you on drugs? You are. You know what? Speaking of that. Yeah. I've heard. I used to work in a... You have? I have heard through the grapevine 40 years ago when I worked at a hospital. You hung out around the grapevine, didn't you? No, I worked at a Kaiser Permanente in California. And By the grapevine. In construction. By the grapevine. And there was a lot of hot nurses. By the grapevine. And so what we would do is always talk to the nurses. By the grapevine. Because they would talk to us because we're all in our 20s, whatever. Anyway, point being. I banged a couple nurses. Yeah, good for you. Anyway, point being, it's like some of these nurses... That worked yeah. in the emergency room. Right. Yeah. And I think there was another okay. name besides the emergency room where it's real special to get in real quick. Uh, I forget what it's called. And we were setting up- Psych a, department? Yeah, psych department. No, it's like a uh, gerbil department. Tell the truth. Gerbil department. You weren't there working. You were a patient. They, we've stood there underneath the desk in certain areas where we're building you stuff. You are a pervert. We're we we're, we're, we're working attached. How short are you? Nurses stations. You can stand some, under a desk. Well, they're on the other side of it, and they're sitting there talking, and we don't move, and they're, they're talking about. Did you see the guy come in with the gerbil up his ass? Did you see the guy come in with a dildo? He couldn't get out. And these are the stories they're telling, and then there are other stories about. So how was your? Did date? you really hear that? Yeah, and then the other time it's like they're saying, "So how was your date?" It's like, oh, you wouldn't believe how big he was. He how was big good. Was he? Yeah, that's. A, I didn't ask that. These they are conversations had. you have with your buddy. No, that's the conversation these nurses. And then you pop your head out and they go, hey, "Oh my God, you're so there!" I'm be embarrassed. It's like, hey, well, now we know you're hot. <laughs> you're looking for penis. <laughs> I got one. They all are. Oh, come on, man. It's like, hey, any girl, hot nurses out any there. girl from 13 to 30 is is looking for it. The next thing they do is like, oh well, sex is really boring. Let's have kids, and then you go from the next step. You What's know? the next step? Well, the next step you is shove a gerbil up their ass. No, sex gets boring, and so you, you have, shove a gerbil up their well, ass. You have kids to uh, entertain yourself. Oh, because that's what kids are good at. Oh, they are good at entertain. If you have good kids, they're good entertainers. If you have bad kids, you're going to get robbed before you go to sleep at night. You know what you do? You have kids, so they fucking chase around mosquito trucks. They don't have them anymore. I think they still do. I don't think they spray it in neighborhoods, though. They no. do it like, yeah. They still spray for mosquitoes. Who, the Democrats? The fucking government. What government? Russia? Russia, Russia, Russia. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Oh, I remember that. The Brady Bunch. That was your favorite show, wasn't it? Way. Marsha, Marsha, You ever Marcia. bang a celebrity? I worked in celebrities' houses, but I never banged a celebrity. At what? least they never told me they were celebrities. You ever bang a, lo a locally famous person? Wait, AKA wait, 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 wait. I'll take that back. What? Are uh, strippers considered celebrities? No. What do you mean Charlie Sheen did celebrities? No, he was the celebrity. Well, he did He did dancers. But he was the celebrity. They weren't. They were fucking a celebrity. What about uh, Ben Stiller? He did a celebrity in ben Vancouver. Stiller? No, he did a celebrity in, in Vancouver. You fuck Ben Stiller. She was a dancer. How do you know the sexual fucking history of all these celebrities? Are you a stalker? It was on uh, E! Hollywood News today. You watched that dumb, mind-numbing shit? No, I was surfing. I came across it today. It was probably like 30 years ago when she, he was going out with J-Lo or J-E or whatever her name I is. I don't keep a track of this stupid bullshit. Why am I going to keep a track of some other guy getting his dick wet? He wasn't. He, he was with How a much of a loser are you? You're worried about some other dude that you don't even know getting his dick wet. Are, are you taking me out to get my dick wet today? No. Are you gay? Are you? I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs>
Fucking asshole. Me? Hey, listen, if, if he ends up dead Me? today before we leave here, I had nothing to do with it. How dare you? Oh, that's my girl, Gretchen. <laughs> that is your girl. Gretchen, Greta. Greta. Do you know they're talking on the news again? About what? Well, they added, Liar! They added another 12 years in. 12 years for what? The world's going to end another again. Yeah, I've been saying that since fucking 1952. No shit. Every year, the year we gotta, hey, uh, we gotta get out. Godzilla's coming back. Mothra. Mothra. What was that word? That's a flying moth. Mothra. Yeah, with Godzilla. Mothman. Obviously, you haven't been around fucking the creature things. Science. Fiction. I don't watch that shit either. Which part don't you watch? All of it. All right, that's, that's right. Gay. You're you're a high talented investor. That's gay. That doesn't know how to invest. That's gay. What are you investing in, gay people? Oh, my God. Who the hell cares? Are you? Cares. So let me ask you a question. What? So you're investing in gay products. No, you're the one that freaking bought all three cases of Lumi. Well, you know, I like rubbing that stuff on my feet. <laughs> you're sick. And they still look like that? What, my feet or the Lumi? Both. I mean, the Lumi definitely looks worse for wear. Hey, it's done by an OBGYN. So you freaking go in there and they spread your pussy apart? Now, what they do, you pay for it and they rub your ass right up the crack with it. And they say then it doesn't smell. And you pay so, them to do it? Yeah, and then you don't have to take a shower for four weeks. How much does this cost? How the hell do I know? You're the one doing this stuff. I don't know. I'm not an OGBYN. I'm surprised you even freaking linked that together properly. Let, let me tell you a story. Let's hear a story. All right. When I worked in Kaiser Permanente down in California, I think it was like 1988 to 95. Okay? Yeah. So there I was. Now, we're good friends because we, we do all these favors in the clinics. You know, they got crews in every clinic construction and every every doctor wants their house and their own shit done. Well, they want new new pro, new tables, new desks, new... Oh, you mean in the facilities? Yeah, they want new nurses stations for them to make it I thought it you were going to say they want new nurses. That's it. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't doubt it. They told us, it's like, I mean, a guy like your size, not your size, but you know, back when we were like 30 years old, it was like, it was like we're like, man, you got the greatest job ever. And he's like, what do you mean? It's like, he goes, you're an OBGYN, whatever it's called. He goes, are you out of your mind? He goes, do you know what I have to go through to get one good woman? I was like, what do you got to go through? He goes, all these old people come in here, like your age, 40, 42, whatever, and their pussy stinks. They don't wash it. They don't clean it. He goes, I got to send half of them home. He goes, it's fucking very, very, very discouraging to be a doctor. Because when you go home, the last thing you want to do is see your old lady's pussy because it probably stinks. Well, the problem is he's seeing all the people that have problems. The ones that maintain their shit don't no, go to they're see going, the doctor as going, much as they don't have to. They're going in there to they're get going it checked they have, out. You have fucking yeast infections from the baker and shit. <clears throat> We're talking these are like 30-year-olds, 40-year-olds, 50-year-olds. It doesn't matter how old you are. If you don't take care of your shit, your shit's going to fall apart. That's just how it works. So you're telling me a, a stinky pussy is a good pussy. I never said that. I'm just, uh, I'm just I, trying to clarify. So you tell me a good pussy with a with an earring in it is a good pussy. You're the one that freaking says that you, if uh, what is it? If you got, it smells like perfume, you got a di or it smells like fish, you got a dish. That's pretty much true. Do you know how fucking bad raw fish smells? Have you ever fucking smell the air down by like a fucking down by like a pier? It oh. Smells fucking terrible. It, it is just a. It is nauseating. It's a lingo. It's a saying. If I smell fish, I'm hitting the fucking door. I'm lacing my shoes up, and I'm gone. So I might not even lace my shoes up. So, I might just fucking run. So what he's telling you, all you women that stink, all you need to do is spray some perfume on it, and if he hooks up with you... No, if it smells like perfume... He'll you nail your too. ass. No, if it smells like perfume, you're out of there, too. Oh, oh now... He if you could smell the girl, unbelievable. If I, if, if you could smell her before you see her, you do not fucking you do not fuck with that shit. How many women you been with? There, it smells like ass. Probably one or two. <laughs> fucking liar. <laughs> two. He's been with three girls in his life. He's had two to smell like ass. I've been with three girls in my life. You told me you, the Russian girl, the banker, and the one you threw out of bed. That's three. <laughs> no. 
I've oh, told he, you about wait, more. Wait, wait. He's going to add a couple more in. I've told you about more that I've dated. We're not going to bring them up because I know what. We're not going to bring them up. I'm just saying you know that I've told you about more. And that's only girls that no, I've dated. No, no, no. Hold on. There's also a difference. You've only dated one then if you go by your standards. One. That was one in the last 25 years. But besides that one, there was always there was the girl in the, in the alleyway. That, that's a, a fucking meth addict you banged. For a bang, for a bag of crack, it was it was down the alleyway in a fucking what apartment. Kind of, what? You think that's a quality girl? I tell you what, it was exciting. Yeah, but that's not a girl you freaking take serious. Well, we were doing shrooms. It was serious. <laughs> I was seeing colors. Dropped her panties, fucking pulled up the dress, and fucking banged her in the driveway. What the hell's wrong with that? That's what you call excitement. You ever do that? You ever bang a girl in a goddamn elevator? No. This is, you don't have enough time in an elevator. Logistically, it's an issue. <laughs> Unless you hit the stop button and make it an emergency stop. There you go. That's what I did. Can in the- you come within like 30 seconds? That's what I did in the alleyway. No, it took... Foreplay, enough time to get hard, and then also to get her clothes off, get, or at least enough of the clothes off Wait. so you can give access. Why do you got to... Get pull- your dick out, and no, then no, fuck no, her no. and come within less than 30 seconds. Oh, All God. that in less than 30 seconds. Uh, so what you're telling elevator? What I'm saying is elevator sex well, is bullshit. You're, so you're telling me that that show you watch? What's it called? Shade to black. Blue me. No, shade to black. Fifty Shades of Grey. Fifty Shades of Grey. So let me tell you a story, real short. It's not a show. It's a movie. Whatever. So let me see. I got a girl with a fucking hooker outfit, no panties on, and you're telling me I got to take her clothes off. Are you on drugs? I am saying logistically in an elevator. The only yeah. person who had his clothes off was me. I had my fucking pants on my ankles and my underwear till my fucking knees. And it's like if a car came down the driveway with its lights on, I was fucked. Well, she was fucked. I, I fucked. So she was a hooker. I, no, she was a hairstylist. Where'd you find this chick? In the park. <laughs> We're doing shrooms. What the fuck you want from me? It's San Diego. You were just roaming through the park one day, come across a girl. Hot you say, looking. You say, hey, bitch, I got some shrooms in my pocket. You want to do shrooms together? She yeah. Says, oh, yeah, it sounds great, Joe. There was, oh, yeah, there was like, there was like oh t- you're so ugly. I like you. It was like a group. We were all doing shrooms, and, and she liked me. And then you said after you, so you pop the shrooms, you put ketchup on yours first because you're a fucking idiot because you, you can't do drugs. Oh, my God. That's right. I don't do drugs. Thank you. This guy puts ketchup on his fucking... Ranch sauce on his goddamn mushrooms, mushrooms are natural. I know that. So, and then, and then it's okay. So, you get them. And do you wait till you're like, it kicks in, you're high? Or do you like immediately say, okay, let's fuck? At what point did you say, let's fuck? After you're already, you're both like fucking out of your mind? Or like the time period in between when you do them and you actually kicks in? So, when's the last time you've done drugs? I don't do drugs. Well, when's the last time you had a hernia operation? That was, um, no, was it six months, uh, six, seven months ago? Uh, 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 did they give you drugs? I didn't take them. No, I did them intravenously. No. Yeah, yeah you did. They offered me fucking fentanyl. When and okay, I came and out. they put fentanyl in your asshole. They didn't put fentanyl in my asshole. He's the only guy who worked out. Nothing went in his. He's the up. only guy that wakes up out of surgery and has a fucking sore ass. Woke up. Woke up from the operation and he had a fucking dildo still in it. They fucking slapped the tampon up on, under his balls. And what they he's did is so much. they probably it's probably on the internet. Man gets pegged by being operated on. <laughs> Let me ask you a question wait, wait, before they make wait, you wait, pass wait, out. Wait, wait. Did they did they freaking did they walk in uh, parade in some wait, wait. some big some freaking big dude with a giant cock hanging out? What he needs to tell you the truth. He's got shades of gray. Was that the when name? they were wait, prepping wait. you for surgery? Wait, did they wait. put a cock ring on you? What was the name of that show you and your ex girlfriends watched? Did, did they of, did they lube up your asshole? Shades Shades of gray. Did they break out the KY? What? Let me ask you a question. Stop. Did they break out the KY? Do you watch Shades of Gray? No. Have you watched Shades of Gray? I've seen the movie, yes. All right. Number two. Yes. When you had your operation. Yes. Where you strapped down. Yes, they strap you in. So you were pegged while you were sleeping. No. <laughs> it's on the internet. No, it's not. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, no, it's not. They call him Mr. Pegster. They don't call anybody Mr. Pegster. Somebody they might call that, but not me. Well, who are you? You're lucky that Mike was there. You would have got hit in the face just now. Yeah. All right. So Think- how much blood came out of your ass during surgery? 
I know, my ass is always bleeding. It's a heart story. You want to check it out? I'll bend over for you. So you are. Why are you gay? I'm only gay part-time. I'm looking for oh. a man to take care of me. Oh, what about you? No, full-time. So you, so you want a full-time gay lover? No, I'm going to hook you up with a full-time gay lover. When he, you're looking for a guy, does, he he likes, have, does, he like, does dick size matter to you? He likes a man with a big ass. Does dick size matter to you when you're looking for a guy? A dick size always matters for you. Not for me. Mario is gay. I'm a heterosexual. Mario is gay. You're a binary sexual creature. Liar! Very good. And dictators live at the improv. Call Ryan 1 800 Snowflake. All right. This is fucking, this is an interesting time with you, you jackass. You got nowhere. We got nowhere here. I couldn't even get a question. You're dancing in. fucking circles. Fucking Square all day. Dancing. Unbelievable. All right, check us out on all of our socials. They're uh, linked in the bio, all that crap. Like, comment, share with your friends, all that good shit. We'd appreciate it. If you want to hit us up, DM us on Instagram. Check my yeah. stuff out. Soup to nuts everywhere. YouTube, Instagram, hit Facebook, TikTok, all that good shit. S-O-U-P-E-D-T-O-N-U-T-S. D-I-C-K. In the meantime, if you see this guy, give him a little fucking uh, what are you, how are you doing? Oh, your man, he loves gay. Thanks for watching. We appreciate it. Good night! Bye. <laughs> He's gay. He likes gay people. He's a gay appetenor. All he wants to do is have gay people around him. He's the gay she's been in a lifetime. Ask his girlfriends. His girlfriends. Your girl.